Hey Jack, thanks for the request. Um, so the way I would learn this please song so only first is just like with the basic chords. Then they have like a lot of fill riffs and little things in the background, but starting out with making sure you know these chords would be the way to do it. So uh, I'll just play along and then sort of explain what I'm doing and pull up the chord chart. So basically it's just going to use three chords. It's going to use C. I like how this G is sounding in the case of the song versus this one, so I would do this one. So C major, you're gonna need that. Three, two, zero, one, zero. Make sure you mute the string out. So I usually put my thumb up here. So it sounds real bad if you hit E in the bass of a C chord. So you want I think this G sounds better in this case. So three, two, zero, zero, three, three. Three, two, zero, zero, three, three. A minor, we need zero, two, two, one, zero. In this case, it doesn't matter so much if you hit E, but you you want to hear that A in the bass. Like this won't sound bad, like it does with C, but I still put my thumb right there to mute that out. And I usually do F like this, three, three, two, one, and then barring it in this case sounds good. So it's like, this is a nice way to do F, it's easier, and it doesn't hurt your hands. And a lot of times this bass doesn't necessarily need to be there. So in this case, this sounds fine from when I was playing along. Three, three, two, one, and then you got a bar. If you do want that higher note, it sounds good in this song. So we'll just play along, and I'll explain the strum pattern. Basically what I'm doing, just, they have like a lot of little textures and bass going on, but this sounds good, you just go, so down, so, wait, so basically it's down, down, up, then you mute, so, so it's like this, down, down, up, mute, up, down, up. sound in there too though so down down up, mute so you gotta kind of hit your hand though when you mute because it's an open chord so down down up hit your hands on the string and mute up down up we switch G down up You can get like a little fancier with the mutes. Like I call those bouncy palm mute, where you kind of like hit your strings, hands on the strings. You kind of bounce your hand while you're playing. So once you get that basic pattern, you could try that however much of it you like. So the basic pattern was down, down, up, mute, up, down, up, or you can do the. Kind of thing. And the chorus uses the same chords. It says refrain here, the same thing as chorus. It just goes faster. So let me see what I would do on that. strum faster on that part. So like just uh just instead of them
Yeah. And notice how the cup on the intro part on the verses, sometimes I'll go. You can just try to add little fills in, just kind of echo what's happening, the background parts. But for the chorus, you just want to go. Chord, they kind of do like a pulse thing, like. And then, and then you get back into that. So it's pretty basic. It's just C A A C G A minor F. Um, so I don't really know what more to say. If you want like the more advanced version, I can start getting more into the song and figure out um, maybe what they're doing in the background. But in terms of just strumming along, I mean, this is exactly how I would do it. Um, put those background fills and stuff and using the bass is kind of a different story. And a lot of times that doesn't sound as good if you just want to strum along and like sing it and play it because you like the song. So I'm assuming that's more what you wanted from this. But if you want, I could try to figure out like some of that background fills and stuff. Um, but usually whenever I learn a song, I just learn the basic chords first. So let me know. Okay, hope this is helpful. Bye.